The purpose of this video is to give you a very quick overview of what's new in Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. At a very high level, these are the focus feature areas for Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. There's performance and scalability. We have a built-in security code analyzer. There are lots of PDF improvements, a host of CFML enhancements. We also have the new command line interface. And finally, we have the new API manager component as part of Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. Quite a bit of performance improvements have been made in the Cold Fusion runtime as a part of this release. The benefit is your existing applications can run up to 30% faster. This release also supports high scalability. You can now store your session data as part of a distributed cache without having to worry about memory constraints anymore while storing session data. In Adobe Cold Fusion 2016, there is a built-in security code analyzer. This static code analyzer can find vulnerabilities listed within your code. So you can scan your existing applications or even new applications using the built-in security code analyzer from within Cold Fusion Builder. Then Cold Fusion Builder will point out and give you a detailed report about the exact line number as well as the vulnerability and its post mitigation as well. There are a couple more important security related features as a part of this release. You can now easily lock down your Cold Fusion server because the scripts directory is no longer under CFIDE. Along with this, we also have support for NTLN authentication on CF object, CF invoke, and CF SharePoint tags. There are various new PDF improvements as a part of this release. The first one is sanitization. Sanitization strips off sensitive information from within a PDF, such as metadata and comments, so that you can share the PDF to the public world without having to worry about sharing organization-specific information. The second one is redaction. You can remove content from a PDF by redacting that particular content. So, if there is sensitive information in that PDF, you can mark an area for redaction and it is programmatically redacted using the CF PDF tags. You also have capabilities to now import and export metadata of a PDF file as well. In this release, the archiving standard has also been updated. Now let's see a quick example of PDF redaction. This is the source code for PDF redaction. There is an input file, output file, source file, and a destination file as well. So here is where all the magic happens. CF PDF action equals redact. There is a source file and a destination file. So once this runs, it will generate an output file that you can see right here. This is the input file which has content marked for redaction. This is the PDF file which has content marked for redaction. You can see this is the area that has been marked for redaction. Now if you look at the destination file or the resulting file, this content will be completely redacted. There you go. There are a lot of CFML enhancements as a part of this release. The first one is a safe navigation operator. It is a new operator you can navigate using objects without having to worry about whether the object is undefined or not. The ordered collection helps maintain structs with insertion order, which also maintains the insertion order. Along with that, we also have a couple of settings in the application CFC. One is pass array by reference, using which arrays will be passed by reference and not by copy to functions. There is another one called Search Implicit Scopes, where you can bypass searching for variables within implicit scopes, so both of these settings result in increased performance for your existing applications. Member functions now allow method chaining as well. You can change the method one after the other using the new member functions. We have also introduced the new to JSON member function. These are just some of the new CFML enhancements. There are a host of other CFML enhancements available as part of this release. 
let me just quickly show you a code sample for the Save Navigation Operator. This is the Safe Navigation Operator. It has a question mark and a dot so that it is a Safe Navigation Operator. So what is happening here is there is foo function has been called and a trim has been called on top of the result returned from foo. So this is a CF function that I have. There is a foo that is not returning anything. Ideally, this should have returned an undefined error because foo is not returning anything and you are trying to trim the result. But since this is a safe navigation operator, the foo with the save navigation operator trim does not result in any error. If it's undefined, it will just go through. If it is defined, it will go in and trim the particular output. Here is another flavor of the safe navigation operator from within CF script. A, safe navigation operator B. A is clearly a struct that has a function called as part of the value. So that is the function being invoked on this particular struct. So when you do that using the safe navigation operator, you can clearly see that this particular return variable will be returned, which is D, and this function call to structure members will be printed in the output. Command line interface is completely new in this release. You can now execute CFML from within command line without having to run a server. What this means is now you can use CFML for any kind of scripting needs that you may have. The supported operation of files, database, email, and web service invocation as well. The CFML command line interface supports arguments and named arguments as well. There is direct I.O. support, as well as read, write LN, and write error functions available for the CFML file running from within command line. Finally, there is this new API Manager component in Adobe Cold Fusion 2016. The nice thing about this new component is that earlier Cold Fusion was mostly responsible for coding your API as a backend. Now using this API Manager, you have additional new capabilities. It also assists in designing an API. So for all your REST and SOAP APIs, you can secure the API for access control using basic authentication or API key mechanism or the OAuth and OAuth with Salmon mechanism where you can manage multiple version of the APIs and also move your API across the lifecycle of the API. There is a new publisher subscriber portal available as a part of API manager using which you can engage your developer so that developers can now see the documentation associated with an API. They can also test out the API or try out the API without having to write a single line of code to understand the details of the API. And finally, we have also detailed analytics information available for every single API call that happens via the API manager. And that brings me to the end of this What's New video for Adobe Cold Fusion 2016.